Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karok Avalon and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This is the first seed discovery video we'll be doing for the channel that includes the Hilder's Quest and the Hilder's Quest dungeon locations. So hopefully that interests you. Um, I know that I do get a lot of people on my channel who love the Valheim Seed Discovery, so we're adding those in going forward. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So, as you saw in the title, this seed has three maypoles. Um, and here is maypole number one. Um, it's not a horrible location. It's not awesome, but you've got access to the ocean right there. Um, you're in this little interesting little valley, and each one of these little pre-made locations have like they're in like their own little. I don't know. It kind of dips down when you look at it from the top. It just it's it's layered, right? It's pretty cool. Um, this is by no means the best maypole location. On seed, there's definitely three of them. This is probably the one I would least like. Um, but all, none of them are really great. However, as a seed, um, when you get three maypoles on a, one seed and on one continent, that's pretty rare. I think this would be a great seed for a group playthrough. It'd be pretty good for a uh, server playthrough as well. You know, like a challenge mode server where everybody... You know, there's three locations people you can build your um, rest huts around these maypoles or maybe a garden area, whatever. Um, and, and for a modded playthrough as well, I think this would be a pretty good server for that. I wouldn't recommend it for a solo play. And we're going to get into the seed in depth. So because of the Hilder's Quest now coming out, there's probably a lot of people coming back to Valheim or getting back into the game or just rediscovering it. Just so you know, we do deep dives on seeds on my channel. That's the, the Valheim niche that I have. So I'm going to show you these maypoles. We're going to get into the seed map as well. Uh, we're going to look at where all the bosses are, where all the resources are that you need to succeed. Um, it's going to be a very deep dive, so there will be a lot of spoilers. If you're just interested in the seed and the... Um, oh, this isn't actually a location. Um, if you're interested in the seed and just the maypoles, um, we're going to go look at all the maypoles first. You can see the seed uh, ID in the description of the video. And that's cool. If you really want, if you want to stick around and sh see all the detail, uh, definitely hang out because this would probably take about 15, 20 minutes. That's normally how long it takes. And this one's going to be a little bit longer because we are traveling to all of the Maypole locations. So we saw one. The second one's coming up here. This one's in a little bit of a valley, um, wedged in between a mountain and the dark forest and you can see right over here there's a little bit of copper right here um, which is nice you've got a mountain over there behind you which is cool and you've got um, black forest over there this one's pretty neat location uh, I think this would be a great little challenge area you've got some wood resources you've got some buildings already established you've got some farming terraces you, you know you got a couple of raspberries here not a lot um, but because of its location, you know, you're, you've got that copper right there, you've got black forest, and you've got the mountains right behind you. I think this is a pretty cool location. Um, I, th I think you could do a lot with this in terms of a build, but, you know, to each their own. Now, finally, the last location, again, these two are not by the water. This one is. This one is actually pretty cool. I like this last one most but this one wasn't bad at all but again three maypoles on a seed uh, definitely worth a video so let's get to this last maypole location we'll discuss it briefly and then we'll get into the map and really break out this seed and and see what we got here um, I, I think it's definitely going to be like an eight 
for me or an eight and a half. Um, but as you can see, this maypole right here is right in the foot of a mountain. So you're actually, it's a mix of winter and meadows biome. You're going to get snowstorms here, which is cool. It's an, it's an interesting aesthetic build right here because you're right at the foot of this mountain. And this mountain's actually fairly easily accessible, okay? You've got some piggies running around, which is normal. But as you can see, the ground here, is, it's, it's frozen, right? But it is meadow, so you'd be able to grow stuff, but you're always going to have, like, the snow in the ground look, okay? I think this is a great location just for an aesthetic build. But the other cool part is, is you're overhanging a black forest, right? So again, it's another maypole location that's just got this little nook of meadows where the maypole is located. And then, boom, you've got black forest here with a little bit of a river. And then there's some more meadows over there. And you've got the mountains right here. I think this is a pretty cool build location. Um, I think this would be really, really neat for um, like a meeting hall type of thing where you're you know, that's uh, a lot of glass, a lot of wide open, maybe a stone structure where you get some blizzards occasionally, or maybe you get, you know, uh, a terrace here where you can shoot, you know, fight off some uh, trolls. As you can see down there, there's this, this probably something down there. I haven't examined this part of the map that much, but I think for me, this is aesthetically the best, best maypole. So there you go. We have three maypoles on the map. They're all accessible from the spawn. Okay? I'm in cheat mode when I do these, but you can run there. Now, you're going to have to run um, around and, you know, go around the mountains and go around some black forest. Um, not the end of the world. I think you'll survive it. You don't have to go through the mountain. You can, you'll be able to get to each one of these by foot, pretty much. And we're going to find that out when we look at the map, which is next. So here we are. We're at this maypole right here. Okay, you can run there from the spawn, and then obviously, if you wanted to come up and around, you, you may have to go all the way around this way. It depends on how early you get to this maypole. But these two maypoles are accessible right off the bat. This one, you can run around here and get to that maypole. Um, this is the least desirable one of all of them, in my opinion. This one's that really cool aesthetic build. This is the one that had. Well, this is the one that we that was closest to the ocean, and this is the one that had the um, hopper off on the distance. So there's your three maypoles by the spawn. Let's take a look at the bosses. Right. So things aren't fantastic here, right? It would be great if there was a motor here and if there was a elder here. However, um, they're not super far away. You've got an elder up here, bone mass here motor here you've got a yagloth over here which is decently close to this queen all right it's not super close but the good news is is if you come over to this yagloth and then you go to this queen you're going to be right at the foot of the ashlands which is our next big update now you can go south okay there's bosses here you've got bone mass elder and yagloth here which is that's an odd yagloth because it's surrounded by mist lands but it is what it is um, you've got a cluster of them up north here, which is a little bit of a hike. But you're going to have to go that way anyways for motor. So, yes, it's got three maypoles. Yes, I think this would be a really cool playthrough for like a server play or a group play. But it's definitely got points off, in my opinion, because the bosses are fairly spread out. It is what it is. Um, traders. Better news here. You've got a Haldor right here, which is great. Um, you know, that's cool. Now, for Hildur, um, she's... You've got one over here to the west. I'm sorry, to the uh, east, which is going to be where you're probably going to go for your, your Yagleth play anyways. Um, you've got another one over here and another one over here. So... And one down here. The, the Hilders aren't horrible. Now, the good news is, is you've got a Hilder and a Haldor right here. Okay, now that's really cool. When you see them that close together, you can just build something right in this area right here with a portal. 
Um, and boom, you've got both your traders right here. That's fantastic. The other interesting thing is, is by this bone mass, you've got a Hilder as well. Okay, so I'm thinking what you may want to do for this bone mass is, and we'll take a look at the tombs and crypts in a minute, is come over here, establish a portal by Hilder, and you've got the bone mass and the swamp right there. Now, before we get too far, here are the tombs and crypts situation. Okay, you're going to be fine here for your Black Forest crypts. This bone mass has some uh, sunken crypts in it, which is what we want to see. Okay, this one is stacked. Okay, there's a whole bunch around here. That's ideally what we always want to see around um, our bosses. We want to see all the crypts and all of the resources we need close by. Right there. That's a good bone mass location. This one's okay, but remember you've got Hilda right here. This Elder's all right up here. That's probably the one you're going to play for anyways. You're going to have to get in the boat or cheat mode. And those two are pretty solid. Again, you're not going to need to leave your main island for your um dark, uh, Black Forest Crypts anyways. So not bad on the Tombs and Crypts. Let's look at Frost Caves. Now... It would be we've got one here to the north of this maypole that's okay we'd love to see more on our starter island because that way they're close to the maypoles and you can just farm them up this motor up here to the north is pretty solid you've got a lot of uh frost caves up there that's gonna have to be your play unless you come up here to these to these three bosses up here but the chances are what you're going to do is you're going to hit this elder and then you're going to come down here for this bone mass you're probably going to get this hilder anyways okay so you're going to be like okay well carol where do i go from here to, to start doing my mountain playthroughs there's really nothing to the south here it's really nothing to the west you've got a couple of queens which is cool this is probably going to be your motor play so this is a decent motor okay it's it within the sculpt within the range of this elder and this bone mass i mean it's not super close but you're not going to be sailing all over creation so that's not bad let's take a look at dragon eggs real quick make sure we have enough here and we do we've got five here you're going to need three to spawn spawn motor these are wicked heavy so you're only going to be able to carry two at a time max um that's not bad so we're okay with frost caves now what we want to see next is our Yagaloth. Okay, we want to see where are the totems, where are the fueling camps, so we can get those totems. Okay. Um, it's actually not too horrible. A lot of times what happens with, with Yagaloth is, is there's just not a lot around the Yagaloth spawn. There isn't a lot here. There's only two. However, there's one camp right next to this Yakla spawn. And this is probably going to be your play. Because you're going to want to grab this queen down here. And you're going to be want to want to be close to the Ashlands for the next update. The good news is, is you've got three or, or six of them around this motor. And you've got a couple to the north of this elder. So, the point here is, is you're going to be going up here to the north anyways for your elder play and your motor play you're going to be able to at some point grab these fueling camps and get these totems and then you've got a couple right here which is a fairly straight sail from from here i think you probably build your port over here because it's the it's the closest um you're going to get to your elder bone mass and motor and then you know at some point you're just going to have to suck it up and get to this yagloth this is probably the best yagloth play um, again, the, the bosses with the resources, you want to see the requisite resources near the bosses. This Yakuloth is mediocre. It's nice that there's two on the same continent as the Yakuloth spawn. We want to see five normally. We just don't have that much space here. So again, this seed is about... It's great that it's got three maypoles. The bosses are okay. I mean, it's a little bit of a challenge. You're going to have to sail. It is what it is. Uh, quickly, we'll look at tar pits because that gives you the, the tar, so you can build that the, um, the you know the roofing aesthetic. This this little island right here is a great little farm spot for that if that's what you're looking for. All right, 
So let's get to the Hilda quest, because that's probably what a lot of people are, are interested in. Now, I don't want to give out too many spoilers, but with Hilda, Hilda is a new merchant in Valheim. When you go to Hilda, she gives you quests that you can do, and when you finish the quests, you bring back to her an item in which unlocks her chest and enables her to sell you more stuff. Okay? Now... Those Hildur quests uh, do include mini bosses, okay? And there's three zones for those mini bosses. So first, let's make sure we know where Hildur is, okay? We know that there's a Hildur over here, right by this bone mass that I've taken off the map. But so that's probably going to be the Hildur play. Now, once you get those from her, we need to, to look at Hildur's quest. The, these are the quest objectives for Hildur's. They're not horrible. It, so what happens is, is you've got a couple in different biomes, right? What these represent is, is these are the crypts, okay? These are the, the dungeons in which you find the Hilders mini boss. Now the good news is we have a mini boss right by the motor spawn that's really really good news and the other good news is is we have an elders a, 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 um a hilder's crypt for the um dark forest boss mini boss up here to the north because you're probably going to be coming up here for the elder in the motor anyways it's not going to be that too hard to go up here and find this hilder now the other good news is is you've got a the Hilder's um, quest for the planes right here. Now, if we go back to our totems, we've got a couple here anyway, so that's good. Now, with Hilder, again, it's just like Haldor. You find the first one, and that's the only dynamic spawn for that seed. So plan accordingly. You know, you've got a Hilder up here. You've got a Hilder up here got one over here um you've got one over here well here no here sorry <laughs> confusing it with haldor there's one here one thing i've noticed in just doing some of the seed discoveries and now really looking at where hilder is i'm noticing that hilder isn't dramatically far away from the mini bosses and well, the mini bosses and those um trips that you have to clear to activate her trading items so that's good news and so what we want to do is we want to find a, a hilder um mini boss obviously very close to the other bosses that we have so we don't have to run around too much the seed is okay in that regard so that's cool you know i think this makes this motor spawn up here a little bit more palatable for us right because Again, ideally we have everything super close by. This Haldor, this um, Hildur, and the motor up here is decently close. It's it's not fantastic, but you're going to be up here anyways. We already know that we've got enough frost caves up in this mountain biome. We know that we have enough eggs up here. We're good. Um, we're coming east anyways to get to this Yagloth. We've got a Plains Fortress right here that we're going to have to hit. The only one that's a little bit out of the way is this one for the Black Forest. Okay, now if we pan out a little bit more, there should be another Black Forest one. There's one down here, which is, you know, that we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right. Um, if we look around for another Black Forest, you've got one way up here. Um, so this is really your only Black Forest play for the Hilder's uh, mini boss, which is up here. So that's that. Um, what else can I show you? Let's go through the remaining um, interesting pieces here. So, uh, so here's our spawn. Here are the maypoles near our spawn. We want to see where the leviathans are. Eh. You know, this one right here, 
I mean, there's a couple here. If, if <laughs> you know, to get your chitlin, you're probably going to have to make a day of it. Um, however, when you do go west, there's a bunch over here. So there's that. Um, troll caves I like to use as portals. There's one right up here by the Elder, so if you're playing a modded server that requires a lot of Elder drops, that's good. There's a couple right up here by this Hilder. We know that there's a Hilder's Quest um, location up there. Yeah, there's one right here, one right here. The reason I highlight these troll caves is because you can just drop a portal in the in the entrance, wall it off, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, you're not going to have too much trouble, so that's good. Um... Let's see, we did troll caves, beehives. There's plenty of bee queen bees around on the starter island. Uh, gather three or four of them early, good early food store source, and before you know it, you'll be overproducing honey, and you'll have so much you won't know what to do with it. Um, we didn't do the, the tetra lakes. So we don't have one up here by the motor. Now, these tetra fish... Um, Okay, it, it, it would be great if there was one by the motor. To be honest with you, I've played through the mountains many times and never even bothered with it. But if it's important to you, you don't have one by this motor up here where we had the crypts, we had the motor quest, I mean the, um, the Hildra quest, and we had dragon eggs. It'd be great if there was one up here that would make this motor location fantastic. We don't have that. It is what it is. What else we got that I can show you? Useful runes. Where are the piggies? Plenty of boars around here. There's none really by maypoles, if I recall. Yeah, nothing that you're going to be able to just farm up, okay? It'd be great if there were a couple by this maypole up here. You could just pull them to your camp, domesticate them, but there isn't. So that's... it is what it is. Um... Done. Oh, we haven't done the queen. So, let's do the queen. Usually what I do is I do the the, tr the, the bosses, then I do the traders, then I do all the um, secondary stuff. I forgot the queen, my apologies. So, what we want to see, obviously, with the queen is exactly what we want to see with the other bosses. We want to make sure that it's, she has all of the requisite resources that we need in that area, and that means... Virga buildings, the skulls, swords, and the spawners, right? And as you can see, this queen here is okay. I mean, you're going to be coming this way for Yagloth, okay? You can pretty much gather all the stuff you need right here if you set up a plane space, which you probably did if you want to farm, okay? And then you're going to have to come down here. You sail down to this queen location right here. And you can do all of your, uh, all the rest of your resource farming here. I mean, again, with the seed, this queen is not a fantastic location. We do have to go out of our way to get here. The good news is, is we are by the Ashlands. The Ashlands is going to be the next big um, biome update for Valheim. And that's pretty cool. Uh, at least you're down here. Um, buy them so when you start if you continue to play through the seed you probably have um, a portal built in one of these uh, locations down here you just hop right into the ashland so it's not a great queen location in terms of proximity to where you're going to be setting up but there's ample resources here you're going to be fine once you get this yagloth go south clear this you'll be you'll have everything you need and it is night time so, overall, not a bad seed. I have it as a an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. It's gotten that high because of the three maypoles. And because I feel like the maypoles are in a great aesthetic location for builds. I really think this would be good for a modded playthrough, for a server playthrough that has a lot of people on it, or just for your group play. I wouldn't recommend this for solo playthrough or um, a modded solo playthrough. I just, it, you want to see a maypole closer to the ocean because you sail. And on this seed, you're going to have to sail a little bit unless you're floating around on cheat mode. Or like I said, you're playing on a modded server and a lot of modded servers 
you know, when they have a big group of people, the the the, the general managers or the or the game game managers, I'm not sure what the vernacular is, um, will go in and pre-build a lot of the um, portal hubs so you can map around the map pretty easily. At least some of the ones that I've played on. And they may do that with this seed. You know, they'll they'll probably build something up around that elder, around that motor, because there's a whole bunch of stuff around there that players going to want to want to do. Anyways, that's the presentation for today. I think this is a decent seed. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this uh, a seed that you would play? Um, you know, the three maypoles enough of a poll for you. Um, I don't know that I would play it, but again, I think this would be a pretty good uh, group playthrough. So let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you taking your time to watch my content as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support. I'll talk to you again soon.